This is about my 2019 Keystone Impact 332 toy hauler. I purchased it from Alliance and I've had the exact same issues since before I was even able to take the unit home but if you've ever bought they force you out with all their threats they come up with so we did take it home we ended up buying an extended warranty because the amount of issues it had before we were even able to take it home was kind of worrying. This is our very first RV we have ever purchased and at this rate will be our last. So I put together this little illustration last time I brought it to this place in Sefner and I won't mention any names. They told me they did not understand everything that was wrong and if I can give them a better description or some type of pictures so they can understand exactly what's wrong with it. I did state as it sits right on here AC does not blow into the cabin. Nothing blows. They did not understand that. I stated the ductwork probably is not assembled according to another dealership. Uh, they still didn't understand that. They said they taped up a divider. When I went and picked the unit up three weeks later a tech there told me he can tell that nothing was taken care of as he went down my list so no AC in Florida is not exactly comfortable refrigerator cannot keep ice frozen ice cream is drinkable it's like having a milkshake uh, a few other issues which I'll go through uh, DVD player doesn't work but we'll get into that that is my unit right there, good looking unit. I do like it. There's a QR code, which I made. Uh, here it is again with the QR code. I'll put all these together to make it a lot easier. Again, all the information. I broke it all down in numerical. Uh, exactly what they need to look at. It shows the ACs, the vents which do not blow air at all. Look at that in case they're wondering what it does. I have some misspellings in here because I was kind of irritated while doing this. It shows the molding that is falling off. Same thing I've always had, same problems, nothing new. AC, heat. Kitchen's the only one that has a little bit of heat coming out. Again, there's the vents in case they had a question. Vents, look at that. Battery disconnect, not sure what it really does because the battery dies within 24 hours even being plugged in to the house which I know the house isn't going to power much but it should at least be able to keep the battery going and not die within 24 hours the clock never turns off the radio never turns off sometimes the radio turns itself on and allows one speaker to play back window balance has never been attached DVD player doesn't work this is my second one they did fix it when it didn't work the first time it lasted a day Check light always comes on and stays on, no matter if it's level, no matter where it's sitting, no matter what it's doing, whatever it's hooked up to, the check light stays on. I think there might be an issue. Speaker B doesn't play. No matter if it's on A, B, or C, it doesn't play. Again, whoop. The battery was dead when I picked it up from the dealership. I had to go ahead and plug it into my truck while we went to lunch. Therefore, I was able to lift and lower the jack, and the jack is, makes it very difficult to lift that thing up. It's almost like it's dying no matter what, so I believe there's a problem, and that's where we're at. Let me come over here. Um, the furnace, it's reluctant to turn on for heat. Uh, it takes about 15 minutes to actually turn on, and when it does turn on, it doesn't exactly work very well thermostat was set at 85 it was 73 inside and like I said it took a good 15 minutes to turn on screws under vanity um, not screwed in if you touch it too much it will flip and flop same thing underneath the front rock plate the screws sticking out all over wires hanging down nothing all that exciting there it is generator shuts off as soon as I unplug it from my truck even with a half tank of fuel. I'm not sure if the, why that is. I'm not an RV mechanic, otherwise I would have fixed this thing myself. Yeah, I doubt it. Master bedroom furnace. 
no heat comes out of there. I know we're in Florida, but hey, I do plan on traveling out of Florida eventually. Uh, outside speaker again, it, it doesn't work. I put two pictures up in case they weren't sure. Uh, rear stabilizer jack, that's been broke. Um, we went ahead and put them down and it just cannot handle, I guess, the weight of the RV. One thing for sure is before I unload my side-by-side, -side, I do not disconnect it from the truck. I don't put the stabilizer jacks down. I make sure the only time they go down is when we're all good and set and that RV is not moving anywhere and it's chalked up. We put extra chalks by the tires so that thing isn't going anywhere. We were told that we can purchase a strengthening kit that strengthens those so they don't bend like this one did. Well, you would think if they know they're not strong enough that they would come that way. But no, you can spend an extra few hundred dollars to do that. And then the third brake light above the toy door. It only has two if not three LEDs that come on. They stay on with the parking lights. If that is a third brake light, it does not work. That might be something to do with the wires hanging down throughout the underneath of it. And a few other issues we have. But these are the main ones that we would love to get fixed. And like I said, we've had this unit since July and we have not been able to get anything done. It is a nightmare. But I know and I've heard that everyone goes through it. 